a people injured here to be two ashes of typhon blue team raging jenny is a commissar lord good offense and support fights in melee combat begins with a refractor field alongside its loud proensa plays an apothecary support commander that fights in melee combat by the fort begins with a targeted heal and a passive health regeneration aura on blood ravens red team it's manu as a gold licked to alpha melee specialist that can infiltrate and disrupt some really good offense with a little bit of support too and rounding off the teams is Memu as a Elder Farsi, a support commander that fights in melee combat, lots of great buffs with some debuffs and control Allies abilities also. Ashes of Typhon and great looking map, quite like the 2v2 version as well. The 1v1 version also pretty good. The 3v3 version a bit odd. The base configuration on the 3v3 version is a bit dumb so it's not liked all that much. Double Termigants for Manu and Memu with some Howling Banshees, pretty standard openings for everyone then. Lictor Alpha leading the line which he's pretty damn good at despite being a apparently sneaky infiltration commander can lead the line very well especially with those feeder tenders up just about gets away there though. 500, 483, Commissar Lord chasing down Termigants, the Sentinel missing its stomp and look at this flank nicely done by Manu takes out a Garden squad with his Hormagaunts and can he take out the Sentinel? Stomp has been used, it's on cooldown looks like the Sentinel will get away, that would have been a massive massive loss if he loses that recently upgraded Sentinel he's going to try and chase into base here, 26 hit points remaining 5 hit points, he takes it down, unbelievable Hormagaunts, unit of the match already a woeful start for Raging Jenny but it replaces the Sentinel, we'll see what he does Tactical Marines capping mid for Loud, Proenza. Rangers on the way for Memu up against the Space Marine player. No real surprises there. We might see double Rangers or we might see a 1 1 1 with a Shuriken on the end. We'll see how Loud responds. And Warrior Brood on the way for Manu. Can he keep up this pressure here? Block capping the Eastern VP. None of the VPs natural on the 2v2 version. 4 8 4. 483 with the 2 to 1 for blue. Lictor Alpha coming to cap mid doesn't want to waste his flesh hook in a 1v1 fight versus the apothecary. Better to use it when you've got stuff to help you finish off the flesh hooked model. There's the decap. Since they knew it was being decapped, they knew that the Lictor Alpha was there and he backs away. Rangers setting up and taking shots, taking out a scout with a single. And Howling Banshees with that 750 hit points now out the gate. We might see a big 2v2 fight here. What is Raging Jenny going to do? Is he going to replace his guards? It looks like he's not. Double cap here. Warrior Brood now. Melee squad with power melee weapons that jump into combat. Also providing a basic synapse to these double termigants and the Hormagaunts if they were close enough. Scouts drop another model. This is really, really risky. They use their shotgun blast and back away and that was a bit odd Manu with the Barb Strangler queued up was wading into melee combat there 484, 430, Victor Alpha forced off should have been a bit more cautious with his Warrior Brute there if he knew he was getting the Barb Strangler I think Almost our Lord now has the Power Sword which does all sorts of things for you I think it, yeah, inspires nearby troops as you can see that Apothecary is inspired Knockdown, speed buff, lots of good things. 484, 416, down goes the Commissar. It's a bit like the Force Commander's Battle Cry, but it gives you a speed buff as well. The Sentinel goes down though. Raging Jenny now getting some catechins. 484, 409. Big, big losses early on for Raging Jenny. A victory point is slipping away. The Rangers, where are they? They must have helped take down. That sentinel now running away with the help of guide, perhaps. Banshees without a aspect, as you can see. You can now run these ladies around without an aspect with those 750 hit points. Salt Marines on the field for Proensa, forcing off the Daravinda squad might come across. I was already capped. So I don't think they have much point being around this area, we're going to run into Banshees now, we're trying to come and decap this power I think, but uh, we're much better served 
consolidating mid, I think, and waiting for reinforcements because now he's forced off mid completely. If there's a salt marines were there, he could have jumped those bar tranglers, maybe got a model off them, synapse backlash, and forced off the tyrannids. But as it stands, he needs to wait for those salt marines to come back out of base. 484372. Rangers, ouch, with a shot on the tactical marines. Look at the damage that did. And he has gone for a guardian weapon team, Memu. Any feed the tendril action? No, lick the wrath of no war gear. Does anyone have any war gear apart from the Commerce of Lord? No. 476, 372, loud going tier 2. They do have good power income here, blue team, despite the losses of Raging Jenny. Red team perhaps not pushing the power enough thus far. There's a crippling poison on the apothecary. He's trying to get in there and tie things up. These tactical marines are getting close to losing a model. Where are those rangers? Over on the west side, I think. There's that Bob Strangler trying to focus down the apothecary now. And he's forced off. There is the Basilisk Flare from the Commissar Lord. I assume it's meant to blind the targets, which is why they get reduced range and stuff. As opposed to lighting them up. 413-372. These tactical marines playing a really, really dicey game with this Lictor Alpha staying in combat. Lictor Alpha gets two of those models but does go down in retreat. Yes, he does. 397-372. I still think that's worth it, taking out two tactical marine models for your commander to go down in the 2v2. Because you can just get revived. Rangers knocked back by the old reliable. They do have their Pathfinder gear. Gives them all sorts of great buffs and abilities to use. Double cap for red. T2 for Raging Journey, but he is suffering in terms of requisition. He's level 3, his Commerce Lord, though. Level 2 now for Memu, the last to go. Loud was already there. Didn't really have the resources to get a walker out or anything, though. Has improved medical equipment on the way. And fire off heals willy nilly on his marines now, and his assault marines could do with a heal right now. 355, 372, Farsia being annoying, decapping a power. Looks like red team want to consolidate mid and push perhaps through here towards this power. But their trends got too close, they couldn't see what was coming, of course. Banshees have the aspect of fleetness, and the Exarch is queued up. I was not expecting Fleetness versus an Imperial Guard player. He's got Ogrins on the way, Raging Jun. That's what he's going for. And Ogrins supported by Commerce Lord can be really incredibly scary. So you might see that aura of discipline up since that would help out loud stuff pretty well as well. Runs. I thought he was going to run after the Barb Shrango Warriors, but he seemed to. Maybe he was running after the Shuriken, but he's forced off in a way. 3 3 5. 372 Raging Jenny trying to fight two players there. Didn't quite work out for him. Stone Guard veterans on the field but suppressed by that awesome Barb Shango, which is now forced to retreat. Tactical Marines, or I should say Stone Guard veterans getting away with a model loss. These Hormagaunts have been awesome. And they're finally getting some adrenal glands. 335, 360. Here are the Ogrins with the bonehead leader already. Needs to defend the power. Nope. Not too bothered about the power, apparently. He's going to lose the generator. Both the Termigants leveling up have the Toxin Sacks. And here are some Wraith Guard on the field for Memu. That's going to be pretty nasty, especially if they can get a volley on the Ogrins and help suppress them. Or maybe just suppress them outright. Zone Thrip on the field for Manu. Blue team doing a good job keeping up in terms of VPs. I don't think Red team have been aggressive enough going after the power here. But they carry levels after taking down a Dire Avenger with the swing of his chainsaw now up to level 2. His heal, of course, getting better every two levels. He needs to get to level 3 to get an improved heal. Assault Marines going after the Shuriken, which had the guide buff, so it's good for him to force them off, but they do lose a model, and there is Mind War and a grenade. The here with that Ghost Helm. Ogrin's coming mid. Seems to get some kind of heal there, perhaps from the Apothecary. Must have been. 
335312. Ogren's forcing off the Eldar stuff. Now the two-minute player is pretty much alone, and Ogren's are going to flank around. Go straight off of that zone throat, maybe. Victor Alpha has nothing still. Gene still is on the field, though. And he has Adrena Glantz. Ogren's slowed down by a crippling poison zone throat. Uses the opportunity to run away. And here comes Gene still is under melee synapse using their adrenal rush and tearing apart those Ogrins. They are tanking like crazy, but they need to run the heck out of here. Get away with two models. Lost the bonehead leader. I think he should have retreated immediately and lose another model to the flesh ship. Should have got out of there as soon as they saw the genes to this, I think. Just did not have the support to hang in that engagement. 335, 270. There's a triple cap for blue team. Get it together, Red. Massive. Unit advantage, but they're not translating that into map control at all. Being a bit too blobby, perhaps. We have an edge for now. Where are these guys going? So the generator's right there. Sir, we're losing a victory point out there. Right, backing away. Guardsman scared away all of this stuff. Oh, he's going to just cap the east side. He's not bashing at all. Big mistake by Manu. They've got a double cap now. Spore mines, perhaps called in by the. Licked at Alpha Global, I didn't see them get called in though. Rangers coming mid. Pathfinder Gear gives them improved range, I believe, on their long rifles or whatever those weapons are called. Unable to even cap this side, didn't bash power, did nothing. Achieved nothing with that push. Apart from the bleed on the Ogrins, of course, which is not bad. Tier 3 for Raging Jenny. I can't believe he was able to get Tier 3 after the start he had. Really haven't pushed those generators enough. Dreadnought now on the field for Loud Pro Enzo. So those melee tuners need to be incredibly careful about where and when they engage. Ogrins moving in. And instantly forced off. Does he have Aura of Discipline? He doesn't. He does have this for Inspired Determination. He's going to save that for the catechins I imagine which might be wiped out here chased down by Tyrion is getting away with two hit points from three models go figure Silver is jumping in really surprised he hasn't got an aura of discipline since he got those Ogrins he's rushed into tier 3 and it might pay off for him if he can get a Lehman Russ up this Dreadnought is going to cause all sorts of problems for these Tyrions all by itself with that new melee resistance aura for melee walkers I think Tyrion's perhaps suffer the most because some players like to go for a full melee build and those melee walkers are going to shut that down a lot better now this guy's in a bit of trouble here though taking shots from a blight lance and all of that melee and does go down just as I was talking up the melee walkers he's taken out by a million things attacking it 2-3-4 four, four, I should say 2-1-2 two, two. yeah so it's looking bad for blue team now I think red team need to push against this power though right now We've got a wraith guard squad here really good power bashing unit and a falcon for support a shrewd choice from memu is that the doom bringer it is the doom bringer on the farcia so they are going to finally bash power maybe completely bash power what is this zone throat doing 198212 that is really risky Needs to put his shield down so he can regenerate some energy. There we go. Bashing power completely over there. Can they get all six gens? They might be able to. And they get a node as well. When they got five gens and a node, can they get the last one? No throat. He is lucky that this Commissar Lord did not have the flat jacket does just about get away. 156, 212, triple cap now for red team. And they're looking strong. Raging Jenny does have a Lehman Rust. Battle tank for Imperial Guard has that front mounted LAS cannon. Which seems to just fire by itself. We're very gate mid from Memu. Look at them, they're stacked up on this east side big time. Blue team splitting, which is what they should do. And they take the west. Can they take mid now? Do they have something to spot? The 
where, where they have the catechins. So yeah, catechins and Manu is trying to flank. Rangers infiltrated, level 2. Running out of energy though. 105, 212, so 2 to 1 cap for the red team. And they're fighting on two fronts now. Massive engagement here we might see. Eldar backing away. I thought they were going to chase him down. Guess not. Red team. Seems to be a bit nervous about engaging. Can't effect them away from Manu. Maybe they're waiting for that. Vanguard veterans on the way for the assault squad. They're going to lose that Melter Bomb. Was that a good choice? Jump in. Get a Melter Bomb on this Falcon. Would really help, it, help take it down. Oh, Hollowfield infiltration. 103212. And there is time field. That is painful stuff. Look at that. Shutting down that entire blob. Banshee's there waiting for anything that gets out of the time field. What is Guardsman going? Run right into a grenade. Neiman Russ now being chased down by melee tyrannies, and these are rending claws. Gene Stealers. Oh good grief, how much stuff died here? An entire guardsman squad, I think, yeah. 103. 212, here comes that bright gold Carnifex. No upgrades yet. Ogryn's level 2. They're still hanging in there. The ranges are being forked. The Thornback Carnifex, incidentally, set to get a nerf to its health in the next update. We'll see if that goes through. Gets 1875 hit points now. It's set to get the. Uh, 1650 I think instead you can go look on the forums and find the free release notes Con effects chasing down the Lehman Russ turns to engage Ogrins and Ogrins do have heavy melee but they're up against a melee resistance Con effects here come some Terminators now called in by loud Wow Thornback tearing apart these Ogrins like they were nothing Tanking loads of stuff, but this might be a dead kind effects now. So Lehman Russ is firing upon it, Falcons firing upon it, and Terminators with those recently improved power fists firing upon it. He's gone for the Flamer to teleport into infantry and cause also trouble. Rear armor hits on the Falcon. Does have the energy field though. Lictor Alpha trying to path around it. Now tying up, or at least trying to tie up those Terminators. Still no war gear for this guy. Menacing Passage would be pretty good. Whatever that thing is called to force off the Vanguard veterans. Corrosive, uh, corrosive claws, I should say, as well. To debuff the Terminators. 69, 212. But you might just be going for more stomping stuff. There's always a good plan for Tyranids. Scouts just about getting away. Autop on the field dropped in by Memu, passively buffing. All of this Eldar infantry, as you can see, those blue circles. Trying to formation mid. Down goes the Apothecary. A full retreat out of it. And should have just jumped out his, his Vanguard veterans, I suppose. Terminators need to be careful. Struggling to path around this Lehman Russ. Commissar Lord going ballistic here. Chasing down Warrior Brood models and takes down two of them. 62-212. Red team trying to cap mid to see this game out. Manu lost a lot of stuff. Zone throw is down. Lost his one of the termagants as well. Fist of Brockus on the way for Raging Jenny. What is Manu going to get now? He's busy reinforcing at the moment. Falcon getting away at level 2. Energy field does... Yeah, decrease the speed as you can see there. Blue team controlling mid. And they still haven't dealt with this webway gate. Or has it been replaced? 44 212. Down goes Elixir Alpha. Roger, sir. Fire Prism now for Memu. And Blue Team are not out of this in the slightest. Here comes a bunker for Raging Jenny. That's gonna really help out, assuming that's a repair bunker. Now Loud can get a Predator tank up very soon. Lots of dead Termigants all over the place. There's the dead Zone Throw as well. 35-212. Carnifex 
back out of base. That thing can get well over 2,000 hit points when it levels up. Ogrins, this, this fight is too big for them, but here comes support from Loud. Those Ogrins could use a heal, but the apothecary is still down. Does not have the red for Laramans. I think it's 125, isn't it? Might be 150 now. Mines dropped, but they're being spotted by the Warrior Brute. Now forced off, and Manu against two players can't hold. I don't think, I don't think we've quite seen enough mobility from these Eldar. They should have locked down this west side with a Webway Gate. Trying to cap mid, but taking shots from allied fire prisms and now getting shot to pieces by stormtroopers with assault kit. He might lose them. They do get away. Level 3. Howling Banshees. Ogrins. Smack. Fighting a Carnifex. Level 3. They get away. They have done really well for Raging Journey. Might not have killed a million things 1v1, but they've soaked up insane amounts of damage and they have put out damage as well, as you can tell by their level. Autark trying to finish off the Terminators, but they do teleport away. And that is a repair bunker, as you can see. That Lehman Rust being repaired. 35, 135, 100 BPs to make up for the blue team. And they're in a decent position to do it, a decent position. This is a Vanquisher Lehman Rust, that extended barrel. Stone God veterans with their vengeance rounds loaded in going to town on the Carnifex. But his Terminator is dead. Being chased down here. Carnifex needs to be really careful. That power fist, Commerce Lord, is going after it. That fist of Rockless level 6. Even Russ could finish it off. Maybe. Bang. One more shot. This Carnifex is done for. Yep. 3583. Manu does have another Carnifex. Dean Stillers, what level are these guys now? Level 2. Blue team in the ascendancy here. Loud now does have that Predator tank. Kind of floating around the east side. Oh, Wraithguard losing their Warlock leader, which stuns them, as you can see. Pretty harsh, ouch. Down goes the Falcon crashing into the Webway Gate, which is still there. Here come those Howling Banshees up against the Vanguard Veterans now. Can they do some damage here? No, they can't. Too much stuff and there's a Mercer Strike. See these Turn Guard Veterans weighing in with Hellfire Rounds. Banshees fortunate perhaps to get away in the end. Oh, there's the Exarch coming back up. Another Thorn back. A mistake perhaps against Double Tanks. You'll see. Hard. It's going to be difficult to recover now. But they need lots of stuff. They need to stop the Ogrins. They need to stop these Vanguard veterans. They need to stop this Commissar Lord who's having a lot of joy now. Has the Emperor's Wrath. And they also need to worry about his tanks. Unnecessary, but useful. Got that Emperor's Wrath. It'll be nasty, especially if you can aim it on this warrior brood, get a bunch of synapse backlashes going. You do get a delay to try and dodge it. Farseer, level 5, has that armored Assyrian. Only seen time field once. Does have the west side now though. Scouts going over. There's that time field. Warrior brood leaping in. But there's no attempt at a flank, or maybe there is. Memu is trying to go around, but that is a long run. There's the Emperor's Wrath. Warrior Brood level 2 getting very close to going down completely. Ogryn is not getting involved at all there. And there you hear, and there you see Nunshell fall from the Fist of Brockus. No allied units under the effect will die. They still be damaged, but they just won't die. Victor Alpha going down 20. 29, a single cap for blue team, holding on valiantly here. Yeah, bad, bad push by red team. They were split, no communication. Memu obviously trying to flank, but Manu was already in. And there's the triple, and there's a the GG, and it's a blue team's game after that terrible, terrible start from Raging Journey, losing Guardsmen, losing two Sentinels. But he recovered, got these Ogrins which were fantastic for him, got level 4, even without Aura of Discipline, which I was criticising him for not getting. Got a level 8 Commissar Lord at the end. Probably carry level 4. 
with that improved medical equipment. Lictor Alpha, I don't think he got any war gear whatsoever. Level 2 and a Farseer at level 5. Both down at the end. Blue team holding on with 20 VPs remaining. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.